What's up Gaming Nation? This is Brandon from Top10Gamer.com. Today we're going to look at Battlefield 4 system requirements which came out yesterday, Monday, September 9th and how that might affect you if you're looking to upgrade your PC before the big game comes out. So before we get into how I analyze all this data, I wanted to take a look at the new Battlefield 4 PC system requirements. Um, I'm going to put them up here for you and it looks like the minimum system requirements show that the OS is Windows Vista, same as before. Processor, they, they, uh, the minimum requirements say an AMD Athlon X2 at 2.8 gigahertz. I think for Battlefield 3, the uh, minimum was 2.7 gigahertz. Not sure how that's really any difference. Uh, Intel Core 2 Duo at 2.4 gigahertz, uh, four gigabytes of memory. So they're recommending that you have twice as much memory as, as they did with uh, Battlefield 3. And graphics card, they're recommending the same minimum graphics cards uh, that they recommended for Battlefield 3 and the AMD Radeon HD 3870 and the NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT. Uh, for graphics memory, they're recommending 512 megabytes. And for hard drive space, you're going to need 30 gigabytes. So really not a lot of difference when it comes to the minimum, <laughs> minimum system requirements for Battlefield 4. So now looking at the recommended system requirements, this is probably something a little more interesting to the rest of you. Uh, for OS, they're recommending Windows 8 64-bit. Now, some of you may still have Windows 7 because you didn't want that funky start menu or whatever. I can tell you, I use Start is Back with Windows 8, and there's some great speed improvements that come with Windows 8. So don't be upset if, you, if you, uh, you're you thinking about upgrading to Windows 8 and you don't really want that menu there. Just get something like Start is Back for five bucks and you're ready to go with all those speed boosts. Um, processor, they're recommending an AMD 6-core CPU. I'd recommend you get, uh, you know, at least have one for, from the FX series. Um, and for processor, Intel quad-core CPU, that can mean a lot of different things, but uh, I highly recommend, you know, that you at least have like a Sandy Bridge i5-2500 or just an i5 from Sandy Bridge. Uh, if you don't have better than that, then you might want to consider upgrading. I'm not saying that an older processor uh, wouldn't work for that, but uh, you know, I think you'll see substantial improvements in your FPS if you do upgrade at that point. Um, graphics cards are recommending the AMD Radeon HD 7870 and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. This is kind of interesting. Um, looking at Battlefield 3, they recommended I remember they recommended the uh, GTX 560. So if you've still got that one, then uh, you're probably gonna need to upgrade uh, if, if you're wanting to run the game at, uh, at, at higher settings and at a decent frame rate. Um, there is one thing interesting about these two cards because as you'll notice, they say under graphics memory, three gigabytes. Well, uh, maybe DICE just doesn't know or didn't pick up on this or something, I don't know, but the AMD Radeon HD7870 and the GTX 660 don't come, they're not really available in the three gigabyte version. Somebody may find some, one somewhere, but you know, I wasn't able to readily find one available. A few months ago, back in January, when I upgraded my graphics card, I actually got a 660 Ti with three gigabytes of, uh, of memory, uh, thinking that I probably wouldn't need it because if you go on any forum, or speak to anyone with uh, technical knowledge, they'll tell you, hey, two gigabytes is enough for uh, 1080p, and for the most part it is. I think if you, if you, run, uh, if you run Battlefield 4 without the uh, anti-aliasing on and things like that, you'll be more than fine with two gigabytes. But hey, something to think about. Maybe instead of going with the HD7870 and the GTX 660, you should step up to the next level and go for like the HD7950 or the uh, GTX 760. One of the reasons that I really recommend that you go ahead and take that extra step is because then you're not going to be, uh, then you won't feel like your graphics card is really on the edge. Uh, you want to find probably a 760 or an HD, HD 7950 with at least 3 gigabytes. I was able to find a pretty cheap uh, 760 that had 4 gigabytes of graphics memory. Um, when, when we look at Battlefield 3 benchmarks, the GTX 660 was getting on average about 57 FPS in full uh, ultra resolution uh, with, with anti-aliasing, everything max, uh, 57 on average FPS. 
whereas the GTX 760 was getting 73. So that's a difference of about 16 frames per second or a 28% increase. And considering that a GTX 760 is only gonna cost you about, you know, 50 bucks more, seems like a uh, really good idea if you're thinking about uh, upgrading your graphics card before Battlefield 4 comes out. Okay, everybody, that's all I got for you today. Um, I'm gonna try to be more regular about making videos and I'm gonna try to improve the quality. I'm working on a background uh, in my office at, at my home that hopefully is a little bit more appealing to some of you. Uh, I've been giving this YouTube thing a try and it's been working out so far. I'm, I'm really grateful for all of you that have subscribed and that's gonna help me uh, continue to be motivated to make videos in the future. Uh, hope you like this video. If you want the benchmark link that I'm using that's, that's showing the difference in the FPS for these graphics cards, I'm gonna put it in the description below. Also, like all my videos, I do a write-up. I'm, I'm a bit of a writer as well. I like to write things down. A uh, little weird that way, so if you want to really get in depth about the things that I'm talking about, that's one of the best ways to do it, so I'll put that right up in the description below. Uh, also, when I first made this channel, I used to do a funny moment of the day every single day, and I'd like to really continue doing that. I don't know if I'll do that on all the videos, but I wanted to share one with you today. It's this video of this girl twerking. She, I don't know if you guys have heard this twerking. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you the video. I won't exp try to explain what it is. But as she's doing it, she catches on fire. But then the funnier part is that we learned a couple days later, uh, we just learned yesterday on uh, that Jimmy Kimmel had staged this whole thing. So this video's going around the internet, uh, getting shared on news sites and everything, and it was all just a setup by Jimmy Kimmel. He's the man. So for that, he gets my props, and he gets a link from this video to his. And also, if you like this video, please help me out by pressing that like and subscribe button. We'll have a lot more of them to come. I've got a build for Battlefield 4 coming up for you. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.